Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron for using the Bye Blood Alone DLC. I'm your host, Mr. Italian Lover, but here we are at. It is October 30th, 1940, and the Turks have joined the Allies, which has kind of been kind of sucky for us. But it's Italian East Africa is still not the, in the war, which is fine with us. Uh, the Germans have lost about a million people. The Mexicans are, well, they're, 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 they exist. And the uh, UK has lost 300,000 to us, which is pretty decent. Um, France lost over... 500,000 to us. We've killed off over 120,000 Americans, which I shouldn't probably say in the first two minutes of the video, but you know, whatever. And so the Turks have joined in. We killed about 91,000. Well, the Bulgarians have done a similar amount of damage, so. Overall, we just took Istanbul as well. We're doing pretty darn well. We're doing the fourth shore still. If you're like about that, please go right ahead. Um, but with the Turks gone, eventually, we should have enough chromium blessings for all game and, and just give us more building slots, so it should be very, very nice for us overall. Even though we do need a way more military factories, so at this point, um, we're still making sub threes which are still decent for now um yeah overall not bad probably build one there because we can keep making some civvies because i we could use some more civvies as well but we could really use a lot of millies as we're just going to continue expanding uh production across the entire area here so even in like allies to a degree because we can annex them later on probably and hopefully um other than that and we also took gibraltar which has been super nice to help just eliminate everything in here so i want you guys to focus on patrolling you find any enemies around, and you just murder them all. We still need a pair drop into the UK, but no, nah, that's going to take a while, too. Um, but other than that, I've so far been really enjoying Italy. Like, Italy in My Blood Alone DLC is actually so, so super fun. It's just it's, it's a lot of fun. I've been enjoying Italy in all the different paths a lot. A heck of a lot, so. Um, still need to destroy this group here, but yeah, I'm seeing, seeing their enemies. Seeing their enemies? Seeing their enemies. Pretty nice overall. Only test for he's level seven. Let me look at all the traits he's got. Look at all these things he's got. These medals, so many medals, so worth it. Um, we'll talk about uh, ooh Iran. Oh, that's not good. If we have to, we can produce our own fuel. So we did take Romania earlier on in this campaign, which helped us out an immense amount for fuel. Oh my gosh, we would be trading away so much stuff for fuel. Um, right there. Norway's gone, but don't really care. Go into that too because he can. Um, wow, Bulgaria's well, really going at him. Which is nice, so. Bruh. Don't make me build more of my own refineries, which we already are, so. So I'm not super concerned about that. We're still going to try to pair drop into them. Bro. So after these guys, we will try to pair drop. And just kind of keep taking up other people if we can, so. Not sure we'll really take out America, but, you know, we'll see when we get there. We do have our three tank divisions here, too. Just kind of blitzing around. Izmir would be nice. Uh, about halfway to capitulation, which is fine. We're doing the fourth shore, like I said. The fate of Mussolini, which we read last time too, which we'll talk about soon. Um, anything on the right side? I kind of want the alliance. Kind of, I kind of want them though. I still want the islands. Uh, other than that, expand naval facilities. A first class navy does not just need a strong battle fleet, but also the ports and dockyards to support it. By investing in our naval infrastructure, our navy will have the bases and construction and repair capacity needs when war breaks out, which it kind of already has. Auto naval guns. Italy lies in the Ansaldo and Oderi Terni the Orlando for the big guns of the capital ships. By making targeted investments and the capacity, we can make battleships the envy of the world. Intensify torpedo manufacturing. Uh, Italian torpedoes are among the first reliable in the world. Fiume was the birthplace of the torpedo, and with a factory there in the Silverfisio Italiano plant in Naples, we have a good foundation on which to further expand the use of our deadly naval weapon. That'd be nice. Of course, I do want to develop all of these areas too. The obstinate Ethiopians have long defiled and humiliated us. Now they've finally been brought to heal, we can develop the country and show them that our invasion was for their own good. Develop Libya. Libya is our closest colony and the one with the highest potential. Before we can begin to reap the full rewards of our long and hard work and pass by the area, we must improve its infrastructure. And our Eritrea, too. Our Eritrea is our oldest colony on the African continent and easily one of the most valuable. With its excellent strategic position, it can easily be put up and become a cornerstone of a colonial empire and develop Somaliland. At first glance, the region on the Horn of Africa does not seem to hold much economic or strategic potential, but with a few well placed investments, we can turn the area into a spring board for further advances into the Indian Ocean. If we so choose to desire to have so. With good old dude right there, um, I guess we did stop the attacks, because we are, like, still out of guns. Like, my god, we are out of a lot of guns. Just 50-some thousand odd guns, that's all. So, at this point, I'm more than happy by accepting guns from our puppets and Rex Commissariats, so. Ooh, losing a couple subs here and there, that's not good. Oh man, they keep bringing out their big guns, and we don't have enough planes to match them either. Which means more millies. Just always more millies, because why not? Because God knows we need them. Hey, there goes the Turks. Thank God. 
Nice. Where does that put us now? It's not bad. Get that one done. But we'll see you in just a little and bit. And now we've navally invaded the UK, everybody. Um, the game's still loading just slightly. Um, but uh, yeah, as you can see, we've navally invaded. The UK has a lot of casualties. Not that many, actually, and realistically. Uh, but yeah, we're we're doing okay. We are somehow just taking them out. So we're literally just walking in um, as we're going through here. Which, in my opinion, is just fine with me. I don't really care if they're not here, which actually probably makes it better for everybody else, so... Thanks for not showing up, uh, British people. Thanks for not showing up. Proving once again that the Italians should be the true owners of the UK. Don't ask me who thinks that, but apparently we do. Oh, the American divisions have shown up. Yeah, where are the American divisions? Better Model 35? Bob London. Another conquest for Italy. It'd be cool if we could get like a peace deal saying that, hey, you know what? We've taken these guys out. America, you just kind of sit over there and be yourself, I guess, for now. Um, but yeah. They still have a lot of planes over here. And they still have a couple battleships. Which would be which would be just too much for us to try to take out. So, you guys do some of this as well. Gonna help cover them convoys as they're going out. Even the Germans can do this, and they're not even fighting anybody, really. Besides, you know, like, the Allies, they're not even fighting the Soviet Union, it's 41 already. Um, get some better radar, I guess. Let's go a little nuclear, maybe? I'd like to go a little nuclear. A little kaboomy, kaboomy, kaboomy. A little boomy, boomy. Sink those American submarinos. Yeah, we have Americans defending, uh, UK somewhat, I guess. Or, I guess it's all British. Get them all Brits. Uh, that's not Germany, that's Norway, okay. Just want to make sure. UK is encrypted or ciphers. Well, Chucky Darns. Whatever will we do? More takes. Also, we took out Iraq as well. Oh, they did land some divisions on here too, which is not good for us. Should be able to take these guys out. They're looking not so good. So. We have plenty of naval XP though. Plenty, 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 plenty. Go out, hunt, and destroy. Probably don't need anybody there. I knew they'd do this. You guys. Nice. Them there is a the navy. So this, we don't want this division to die. It's about promoted, very nice. Very good. Ooh, uh, more convoys go bye bye. Well, we're doing well so far. Wales is almost completely cut off. And now these guys are going to die here too. Beautiful. Absolutely stupendous. 13 convoys, 2 convoys, convoy. You know, it's always the convoys. Disperse industry is very good. Get some of that too. Um, Ace Pilot promoted, which is nice. Swan C. Which I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. We definitely need more manpower too, which does kind of suck, but whatever. As we are expanding Fulgia Farm Fields, and then we'll do the Dispose Mussolini, that one guy. Because I'm sure we can't really handle all this uh, resistance and whatnot. Yeah, artillery's looking pretty good though. We're looking pretty darn freaking decent on our arty. So I'm getting lower by one. We still need more guns. But we're doing a lot better than we were earlier. Only minus 8,000, that's all. That's all. Y'all, I want you to get ready. Have you guys gonna come from Cardiff? And play Belfast? Just so we can get the preparation done now? Now we'll go right there. See if we can do that. Because the UK itself should capitulate relatively soon. Ah. Nice, you guys actually made it. Nice. Good. Good. Just destroy all the convoys. Hey! Nice job. Well, we still need a little bit more first to do that. Oh! Ah. Can't surprise Ireland isn't in the conflict yet. 
do that too. Well, Blake's nothing to laugh at. That's pretty good. Ah. Another invader. Oh boy. That certainly does suck a little bit. Do that. And do that. And keep working on this too. Hellenic Republic? Probably not. Probably not. Ready. Yeah, but we'll invade very soon, and then of course we'll talk about the fate of this Mussolini Well, guy. everyone, as you can see, we're a little bit green on the Emerald Isle, and we seem to be doing okay. Um, honestly, there was literally no one here in Belfast when we invaded, so it kind of worked out for us in the end. Um, but we do have the justification done for uh, Ireland. I almost said Italy for some reason, because we are we are Italy. Um, not sure why they're still here, but you know, whatever. We'll deal with them. Let everyone else get to where they need to go. Belfast, the Douglas, or the Isle of Man. Why is it named the Isle of Man? I don't understand. Then again, I'm not British at all. I don't live over there. I've never been outside. Actually, I guess I have been outside of the United States. But, and Europe. Oh, I saw paratroopers. I forgot about that. That's right. Wait, eight, eight, eight guys. Oh, well, I guess one of the groups didn't land. Whatever. It is what it is. That usually happens. Um, so now we're looking pretty good. I'm not sure how Bulgaria got even more, but the Talon League is looking pretty good overall. Uh, I might, well, demand these guys, and maybe I might just take out these guys anyway, because they're not on the line themselves, which is not bad. My god, do we need some manpower. I don't want to go to service bar requirement, but if we have to, so be it. And we're still doing the fate of Mussolini, which is pretty nice overall, too. So, uh, let's get these guys in place, get ready to invade, and go from there, pretty much. So. At this point, these guys should be able to do pretty darn well. Um, do we have any... Ca oh, fine, plane, yeah, fine. Um, seven is fine-ish for now. Let them go do that. Let's see. And uh, guaranteed by the UK. Which is fine with us. Ireland's joined the Allies. Big shocker. Whatever. Hungry to proclaim the Hungry the fate of Mussolini. Having dealt with the internal power for once solidifying our hold in the Partito Nazionale Fascista, we can finally turn our attention to the Old Duce, Mussolini. His ever looming presence is undermining our position and needs, of course, to be handled. Oh, I will steal. Fine, Duce. Ah, 60%. 6%. Oh, this is very nice Italian hegemony. Ooh. Spreading the eagle's wings. Puppet cost. Ooh, more compliance. And that goes, is that for all of them? Oh, it's modify Italian hegemony. Italian hege oh, this one. Oh, that's not bad. Master impact. That's really good for a lot of puppets, though. We don't have, well, we have some puppets, but not enough that I really care about to have. Um, oh, Divino Duce. More organization, group population factor, ideology, drift defense, daily command power gain. Let them stand trial. Let the court just rule his fate. As long as we rule the court of justice. The trial of Mussolini versus execute him. You lose stability, less fascism, remove the shadow of Mussolini. Um, assassinate him. You can spin his death to our advantage. Oh boy. Papa Mussolini. Oh no. Well, let's see. Because I'm going to go down this route eventually, but I definitely do want this guy as well. His silver tongue. If we do a silver tongue, we can make him stand trial or just assassinate him with our guy. I'm not sure why Italian Baba would want to do that, but you know, you never know. The Italian Empire would be really nice. Economic reforms, improved industry, meritocracy. Oh, that's not bad either. That's actually really nice. Spanish corporatism? Hmm. Well, assassinate him. Uh. Dino could let him stand trial. Oops, my, my finger slipped. Um, so now we're at 49%, so we need a little bit more here. So we're 30 60. And we go up to here, all he gets is more daily air army XP gain, air and army, and get 5% more output for the exact same cost, so he might as well. Send some to El Salvador. So he might as well, right? And go over here, you lose 2.5% consumer goods. But the lack of penalty resources doesn't hurt you nearly as much. So, which is pretty decent. Same amount of output. But, yeah. Overall, not bad. 
So now, as much as I want to do a greater purpose, Divino Duce. What has become apparent <clears throat> as the influence on a single one person, single person can have over a country. Uh, maybe that is something we can use and adapt. By utilizing our state channels, we can promote Duce as a strong and capable leader that can unite Italy. We'll give the people something larger than life to believe in, someone divine to put their faith in. Which sounds exactly right. And then gain the Black Shirt's loyalty. Which will give us more daily fascism support, which we don't really need very much in all honesty, but whatever. Uh, the Black Shirts have long held a special place within the fascism in Italy. And if we want to arouse a sense of inspiration in the populace, we will do well to gain the loyalty of their organization. They'd be most useful in spreading the divine perception of the glorious new duce throughout the armed forces and, of course, beyond. Now we do Mare Nostrum, which sounds like one I want to do when we do uh, the non-aligned or monarchist path. Because I have done Towards the Greater End of the before, been the bars. So, uh, we'll see. Italian legions, new Roman citizens. I do like that a lot. But new Roman citizens on like stuff like over here. Part of the king. Um, so we'll probably go towards the Greater Italy once again. Italian irredentism is a natural result of the betrayal to which the Italian people were subjected by the Entente of the Great War. By right, Italy shall have complete rule over the Mediterranean. For that, we need to expand our borders, as we will bend the bars, of course, too. Italy finds itself subjected to a prison created by the British out of the Great War. And the more populous and powerful Italy becomes, the more it also suffers from its imprisonment. It's time to bend the bars of that prison and expand Italian control even further. Masters of the Aegean. If we want to control the Mediterranean, we must first ensure Italy's absolute supremacy over the Aegean Sea. With this, we will not only control access to the Black Sea and most of the Balkan coast, but we also have a new naval basis with which to secure the Suez Canal and Masters of the Med. Uh, state's power is proportional to the maritime position. It's time to claim total control of the Med, as it's the right of the Italian people to dominate the ancient sea. That was the cradle of our civilization. Subdue the Sentinels. The next step towards the freedom and glory that the Italian people deserve is to subdue the Sentinels that hold us prisoner in the Med, and that is Gibraltar and Suez, which we've already taken. A colonial empire, which is very nice, too. Despite the efforts of our enemies and rivals, Italy has become a mighty colonial empire. We must ensure that uh, not only that we make the most of our territories, but also that we keep expanding Italian control in Africa, and by blood alone. Thanks to the power of our army and the unlimited fanaticism of the Italian irredentists loyal to our regime, Italy finally be re recording its signature in the annals of history. Not as a mere secondary actor, but as a main protagonist. Blood alone moves the wheels of history. Ah, the quest for oil just never stops. Uh, we're doing okay in Africa-ish for now, but, you know, Saudi Arabia, it's a nice place to be this time of year in December. Well, probably not, honestly. I don't know why you'd ever want to live there, but well, that's not me. Um, but uh, I, I honestly don't think, I, I don't want to invade the United States. I really don't. Or Canada or North America. I like where we're at right now. Um, so let's invade these guys, have a good old time, and then uh, take out Oman in Yemen. Because why not? Could you do that for fun? Maybe. I'll oh, gain the Black Shirt's loyalty. I might use Consequences just to blow through all these. I don't know. At this point in the campaign, I've enjoyed it thoroughly, but we're... I, there's not much else to do except take out the, these guys, and I don't really want to do that, I'll be honest. Um, so, towards the Greater Italy, so we can at least get proclaimed Greater Italy, which is down here. Um, the early stages of Italian irredentism triumphed with the Great War and the annexation of South Rome and Istria, but beyond that, the ideas of Italian unification were betrayed by the Western Allies. Under the leadership of Italo Balbo, these ideas have surfaced, and Italy shall stand tall through the ages of Viva l'Italia e Gloria e Duce. Yes. Morocco, probably not. Probably all not. You keep singing American Convoys, we gonna feel real good at that point. Um, you do that too, because you can. You might as well go and go to war with them, it doesn't really matter. Um, just go in, do the best you can. Send in all that infantry, all them tankerinos. Which isn't very much, but you know, whatever. Um, do that too. Because this Italian run, at least this campaign, has been more successful than I think than some of my other ones. Some of my other campaigns were not bad, don't get me wrong, but, uh... I feel more successful in this one than compared to some of my other ones, so. Um, Italo Balbo is a funny guy. He tells good jokes. Uh, which one are you losing more? Enemy bombings? Heroism? There you go. Colonial management? Oh, hand Garissa over to the AOI. Sure. Oh. They wanted that one. Well, okay, whatever. Don't really care. Jeddah. We could take out Iran as well if we really wanted to. They're embargoing the UK, but that just gives us more fuel in the end. A couple more dead bodies, but you know. Whatever. What's well, a few dead bodies between friends? Yeah, 324 factories are not bad. Not bad. More millies just in case. 
And throw some more stuff in here too. And if we were really super Oh oh wait, so it was by themselves. They have no thing, so it's just ooh. Oh boy. Oh I'm not gonna like this piece down am I? Um Let's let's get some oil. Really, Bulgaria? Bulgarian Central or the Arabian Republic why why would you do this why that's so disgusting I mean, don't get me wrong I'm glad we took the fuel and all but my god what the heck guys bruh uh, let's see here too that'll be fine of course, there it's good at uh, Italy, and they'll use some cons commands probably, and we'll do some fun focuses. Probably call it a campaign. Nice job, guys. To Briz? Well, we'll see about that. Towards the greater, fatter Italy. Yes, please. Oh, we get really some supporties. How many guns are we out? We actually 74,000. That's not bad. Uh, we'll get some more supporties. Get some more planes. Thirty-five is probably good enough, which means we got enough for this. Go up a little bit more. Naval bombers. Um, Anti-air would be pretty nice as well. Transfer plans are decent to get. What about towards the Greater Italy? Of now course. that we've used a couple cons commands, Spain does give up the Balearic Islands. Thankful for our support and defense of the fascist cause during the Spanish Civil War, Francisco Franco has agreed to make our temporary military installations of Mallorca, Minorca, and Isber. Is busy, permanent. Although these islands, with their important strategic position, are welcome addition to our empire, seem to the Spanish now consider the debt repaid, as long as they acknowledge us as the rightful owners. Um, but then Bulgaria has your uh, uranium mining concession, which is kind of interesting, kind of different. Um, our good relations with our Bulgarian allies have just paid off. Uh, the government has granted us exploitation rights to the uranium deposits near the town of Buhavo. They claim that their technology is still far from being able to make good use of the substance, so they prefer to sign a concession agreement, whereby we will control the mines in Buhavo in exchange for a basic products for Bulgarian industry and agriculture. This favorable agreement will not only provide us with a new source of uranium, but undoubtedly further improve relations between us, the German Reich, and Bulgaria. Put it to good use. Nice. Well, greater it is looking pretty darn good. Now, we could take out Iran as well, but... I don't know, after conquering the UK and almost literally all of France, and we get the Balearic Islands as well, and Yugoslavia, and a good chunk of the Balkans, and Africa in general. I mean, I guess we have these guys here with us as well. I'm feeling pretty good about this campaign overall, as Germany is struggling quite a bit against the mutual assistance block, which I guess makes sense against monarchist Russia, but you know, it is what it is. I think for us, as long as if we could have gotten and invaded Spain, that would be, probably be better, but it's pretty much an Italian lake. So, Italo Balbo. He's an aviation hero. He's a pretty cool guy in my book, I guess. Uh, but I guess that's pretty much going to be it for us here in this campaign. If you enjoyed the campaign, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great Italian Italo Balbo rest of your day.